मेरे पास नहीं है अभी गुड नाइस नाइस टू सी सम पीपल डोंट हैव एनी प्रॉब्लम्स मेबी दे हैव फाइनली फाउंड द इनर पीस प्लीज कीप एन आई ऑन देम एंड मेक श्योर दे गिव यू सम टिप्स बिफोर लीविंग दिस रूम फॉर द रेस्ट ऑफ अस मियर मॉर्टल्स वी ऑल हैव प्रॉब्लम्स अ लॉट ऑफ देम एवर थिंक इफ पीपल स्टॉप वरिंग अबाउट देयर प्रॉब्लम्स एंड स्टार्ट सिंगिंग अबाउट देम फॉर इंस्टेंस someone who's uh, invested in the stock market may be singing indian rupee is falling down falling down falling down taking the stock market with it into zero or any of the corporate victims like us may be singing twinkle twinkle appraisal more power is universal up above is five rating always keeps me waiting <laughs> Or someone like me who has problems all around. Baba Gyani, Baba, have you any fool? Yes, sir. Yes, three very powerful. One is obviously your manager. One is your crazy roommate. One is your lovely girlfriend who loves everything you hate. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Today, I'm going to solve one of the biggest problems we have: the freedom of choice. Oh yes, you heard it right. I say, abolish the freedom of choice, and we can all lead simpler and happier <coughs> lives. Ah, I know what you're thinking. I can see it in your eyes. He's gone cuckoo, crazy talk. How can freedom be a problem? Okay, let me ask you a question, and please give an honest answer. Which type of question did you like to answer the most? Multiple choice, fill in the blank, essay type. Or true or false? Well, if your if your answer is D, true or false, welcome aboard. You have just agreed to my theory. If your answer is not D, you are just lying. Well, we all like answering true or false more because it has least number of choices or alternatives. If there is one universal truth we should all believe in, it is this: we are all born to be lazy, body, mind, and soul. Most of us are partial to our bodies, never taking the stairs, always taking the elevator. But when it comes to the mind, why do we always keep exercising it by thinking about too many choices? You know what? It's not our problem. It's the society. It gives us too many choices. Well, if you want to buy something, there are too many brands. If you want to make friends, there are too many social networks to follow. And if you want to get to know what's happening, there are too many news networks. Where does this stop? Think of a utopian world where everyone has just one dress. No need to worry and pick what to wear every day. Every hotel has just one dish. No need of a menu when everyone's eating the same. If you go to shopping, there's just one design, only in two colors, black or white. No need to worry what shade is magenta, lavender, etc., etc. Imagine calling ICC customer care center and getting to the executive within two seconds without having to choose from five menus and waiting for ten minutes. Well, I hope you have seen how reducing choice can help an individual save more time and spend things that he likes doing. It not just helps individuals; it also helps the society as a whole. You want to get rid of the traffic problem? Impose a rule. If you want to buy a car, buy a BMW. If you want to buy a bike, buy a Harley Davidson. Gone. Talk traffic problem is solved. People are watching too much television. Broadcast only two shows. All men should watch CID, the pride of Indian television, running successfully for 15 years. All women should watch comedy nights with Kapil. Let them have some humor after all the melodrama and sass and nonsense. There are too many brands in the market. Merge HP and Dell. Make it hell computers. If you don't buy from us, we'll make your life hell. There are too many politicians around. Make it a two-party system. Isn't it better to choose between a donkey and a monkey rather than having to deal with a zoo of animals? Well, I guess some of you have bought into my idea, but I can see that some people still need some convincing. Let me tell you how this idea can get rid of evil from the world. Yes, all evil. Let me explain how. What is the root of all evil? Well, I know some people think it's women, but it's not. <laughs> it's it's something that comes from within us. It's an emotion. Okay, what is the most powerful emotion? Again, some people think it's love, but it's not. It's it's jealousy. 
So yes, I can see a lot of you nodding. They've all been there, done that. They've all felt jealous of someone, right? So let me give you an example. There's this guy who has worked very hard in the office and goes home. He just wants to rest. Opens the door and there he finds his biggest problem, his wife. A disgruntled wife. Well, married men among you may say, is there any other kind of wife? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway, so his wife comes to him. His wife comes to yeah. him and says, his wife comes to him and says, have you heard the three most dangerous words? You never know what bomb is going to fall. Right? She says, our neighbors, Mr. and Mrs. Sharma, they're going on a holiday. You know where? Thailand, foreign. And we, we are going to Munnar in India only. And this small spark of jealousy can lead to World War Four. They say, love thy neighbor. How do we love our neighbors when they create so many problems for us? Anyway, the problem, the solution to this problem, put a rule that nobody can cross our country borders. Everybody stays in India like a big happy family. What are the repercussions? Think of those. There will be no brain drain. Everyone will stay in India and all the brilliant minds will work for India's development. Bachelors like me will have no competition from NRIs. <laughs> there will be no real estate bubble because of NRI dollars. See how I've solved the world from all evil. Well, Though my genius solution has solved all evil from the world, something that even the Supermans, Batmans and Ironmans couldn't do, some of you are still not believing me. Let me give you an argument that you can't refute. There was this guy, one of my friends, who was getting married and uh, he was just thinking of who all to invite. There comes his dad and he says, Dad, I'm not going to invite you to my wedding. <laughs> dad is shocked. Why son, what did I do? Well, you did not invite me to your wedding, did you? Well, this shows what? We don't choose who our parents are going to be. The same way our parents don't choose who their kids are going to be. Still, we love them. They love us. We are proud of their achievements and they are proud of our achievements. I don't know about you, all my parents are proud of my achievements. <laughs> so, this shows us, and I hope most of you have bought into the idea, that we don't need choice. Choice is bad for us. So, I'll have just one advice for you. Live as if you are watching Chennai Express all the time. Just switch off your brain, don't think too much. <laughs> think less, live more. I'll leave you with one final thought, which I hope is not thought provoking. Shun your thinking hat, forget freedom of choice. Let your life be simpler. Choose freedom from choice. Thank you.